Hey, what's up, y'all? And well, uh, week three of the 2023 college football season is um is in the books, and and um yeah, we thought that this that this week that this week was gonna be boring, but we actually did have some uh have some uh, uh some good some some good games, yes, yeah, some um surprising um upsets. So uh, anyways, as we start out with these uh. Thursday and Friday night games. Uh, yeah, let's see. Yeah, yeah. Miami destroyed Bethune Cookman. Was it forty eight to seven? So, uh, oh yeah. And then we did have um, all three of the service academies playing on 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 Thursday and Friday night. So I mean, but you know, sadly, you could only get two out of three to win. Yeah, Navy did lose to Memphis twenty eight twenty four. But it was, but it was close. Uh, but yeah, Navy just, you know, just, you know, ended up t turning it over on Towns uh, at the end. But they ended up being, yeah, ju just sh short of the first down. So, uh, anyway, and then, um, I then guess Army did beat um, UTSA. 37 to 29 and yes an army had almost 45 minutes um of possession like I think it was like 44 minutes 25 seconds so yeah so they so navy held the ball I mean excuse me army held the ball for for almost three quarters of the game yeah I mean yeah, and they had yes, and they also had um, no penalties uh, for Navy. Yeah, that yeah, that's really rare uh, to see a team get uh, get no have no penalties in a game. So, and then let's see, and then Air Force uh, yeah yeah did um, did um, destroy uh, um, Utah State. So I think it was what like thirty nine to. It was at 21. Yeah, the Air Force jumped out to a big lead. Utah State did 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 start to sort of come back at the end, but it but it was, you know, too little too late. So but anyways, and then uh and then Virginia and Maryland. Yeah, yeah, Virginia at first was up uh fourteen to nothing, but but then Maryland came back, scored. 42 unanswered, so. Anyway, so, so now we can talk about these, uh, these, um, Saturday games, or I guess we'll go ahead and, uh, get the, uh, get the, uh, Georgia game out of the way first. Yeah, we did beat South Carolina 24-14. Um, yeah, so no, you didn't lose, uh, because of the hot dogs, uh, uh, this time, nope, you lost because of, uh, because the, uh, uh, the real dogs, uh, came out in the second half. Anyway, yes, it was 14 to 3 at the halftime, and yes, that was, that was embarrassing, and yes, I was, you know, you know, really worried. But we came out in the second half, your defense pitched a shutout in the second half, and, uh, and and uh, yeah, we got the win, but yes, it's very you know frustrating, not just frustrating, but also you know concerning. You know these uh, these um, these um, slow starts. Um, but 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 um, yeah. I mean I mean I mean I admired uh, Spencer, Spencer Rattler's uh, toughness in this game. Just you know under pressure, just, you know, getting hit, you know, you know, for the whole game, but just, you know, st standing in there, you know, making the throws, you know, you get, you know, time after time. And I mean, yes, and then, and, and, and then, yes, you know, the, the other, you know, shocking thing was, yeah, only, um, eight, um, Design runs, yes, only eight uh, called runs for South Carolina. Really had sixteen runs, but 
but half of them were um, were um, Spencer Rattler scrambles. So really only eight called running plays. Yeah, that yeah yeah that's just you know you know not a uh, recipe for success. So anyway, yeah, and Dejon Edwards did go over did did go go over a hundred yards. So um yeah, he's our uh, best running back. So it's good to get him back. As yeah, so we started, you know, you, you know, running the ball with Edwards more, we started getting the ball to um, Bowers. So um, yeah, I mean, yeah, now I think, you know, so now the question, you know, is, you know, there are problems with, you know, with, you know, Mike Bobo or with, um, or with uh, Carson Beck. But I mean, he, but I mean, he's new, and and he actually ended up playing pretty good th th for almost four hundred yards. You know, had a good completion percentage, no interceptions, so. Um, but, but anyway, so I'm not, so I'm not, uh, pushing the, uh, uh, the, uh, uh, the panic button, um, yet, so. All right, so anyway, uh, you know, let's talk about yeah, fl yeah, Florida State. Yeah, what are yeah, what are you doing? Yeah, you yeah, you almost lost to Boston College. Well, not really, you know, almost lost, but you but you almost but you almost went to overtime with Boston College and then um and 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 then um and then it and then anything could have happened if it if if you had gone to overtime but yeah i mean yeah i mean it's only because boston college uh missed an extra point that that you did not go to overtime boston college t did later have to you know tr try to go for two and it didn't work so i mean i mean, I mean if not for for that mistake missed extra point uh um this game was going to overtime and we started out, you know, you would throw up 31 to 10 and let them come back. And, and, and you let them come back. And, and, and I mean, Boston College had 18 penalties. I mean, they probably would have won if they hadn't had, like, you know, um, um, 18 penalties. I mean... I'm, I mean, if they had like, you know, eight penalties, uh, then they probably would have won. So, I mean, yeah, yeah, the same Boston College that lost to Northern Illinois, that, uh, that, that almost lost to Holy Cross. I mean, it's like, no, but Boston College is terrible. And no, you, you had, you had a bad game. You got outgained. By Boston College, I mean, uh, yeah, you were, yeah, you were outgained by, by quite a bit actually, and you were only one out of nine on on third down. I mean, this, I mean, this is just you know terrible. Is this, you know, I, I mean, did did Florida State get exposed? Uh, um. Um, yeah, I'm not sure. I think yet, yeah, yeah, yeah. Is, is this is this you know sign that you know that you know Florida State is gonna be is terrible now? Um, no, I don't think so. But I mean, yeah, well, yeah. But you may have some um, some big problems though. I mean, I guess you got the big win against against Florida State. That was it. I mean, I mean, you looked. Look good against Southern Miss, but now, you know this game. I mean, I mean you. I, I mean, I mean you're really playing with fire. I mean, I mean you can't be. You know, I mean you definitely can't afford to be losing to teams like you know like like Boston College. I mean, can't be. You know, you know losing to teams that you didn't count on. I mean this would. I mean, I mean this would. I mean, this would have been bad if you had lost. 
But in but anyway, uh now let's take a look at um yeah, so um let's see who the other games. Oh yeah, yeah, how about Missouri? Yeah, big yeah, big win against um Kansas State. Yeah, that's the uh uh the um uh the best win for the SEC against non-conference opponents. So it was uh, Mevis, yeah, 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 Harrison Mevis with a uh, a walk off, uh, six, you know, the sixty one yard walk off field goal. I mean, I, I, I mean, yeah, that that was a. Uh, uh, a great game, you know, definitely very um, 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 back and forth. I mean, yeah, Luther Burden, you know, having a, a big game over 100 yards, um, two touchdowns. That's the uh, uh, the best game of his career at Mizzou um, so far. And I mean, you know, Kansas State looked good too. I mean, that I'm I'm I mean that tight end, his name uh, Ben uh, Sinot. Yeah, I think he's a, uh, a a beast. Yeah, he looked um looked really good too. So uh you know, see him, him you know, jump over people, you know, truck people, you know. Uh but but anyway, so you 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 you, you know, a good game by both teams, but you know, in the end Mizzou does get the uh game winning field goal and then rush the field so you know, let's see what else is on the list um oh yeah um about penn state uh beat illinois uh 30 to 13 i know that um that 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 um that drew lar did not look that good uh but i mean a run game you know, showed up so and i mean it's just his uh it, it is his um his um first start uh um on the road so i am going to give him a pass but uh, now let's talk about how uh yeah LSU um yeah, yeah about how LSU just brutally assaulted um M M Mississippi state yeah 41 to 14 that was 41 to 7 at one point you did uh get a uh, garbage touchdown at the end Mississippi State did but I mean Mississippi State's offense I mean it was just terrible I mean Will Rogers yeah he was like 11 of 28 103 yards I mean yeah it's a uh, uh it's a uh, a far cry from what he's been doing uh, from 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 what he did with the uh, with the uh, Mike Leach um, 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 air raid um, um, offense, we sure do uh, miss um, Mike Leach, yeah, and so do uh, Mississippi State fans. So, I mean, that's got to be you know you know the worst. I mean, I I mean that's probably the worst game. Um, I'm. I mean, yeah, that's got to be the worst game of his career. I mean, I mean, yeah, this this new look Mississippi State offense just not working. Anyway, how about um, but um, um, uh, Jaden Daniels had a great game though. He completed like a very it was like thirty of thirty four, three hundred and something yards, two touchdowns. I mean. I mean, yeah, he completed. Complete I'm. I mean, he he played an almost perfect game at yeah, QBR of like ninety five point three. So an almost perfect game, and and he also ran around to got what about sixty four rush yards. So yeah. So yeah, pro. So yeah, probably the. Uh, the uh the best game so the best game of his career so he had one quarterback playing the best game of 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 his career and then we got on the other side another quarterback playing the worst the worst game of his career but what Will Rogers uh QBR was like 
seven. Okay, let's see what's going to talk about about um um Louisville and Indiana. Yes, I did have um have Indiana pulling off the upset. That didn't happen. Although they did cover though. But yeah, but yeah, Louisville wins twenty one fourteen. Let's see, yeah, got see North Carolina beat Minnesota, uh, thirty one thirteen. Um, yeah, I mean, I mean, I mean, Minnesota just has no offense. Let's see, and then and and, and then my other upset pick did have a uh, Virginia Tech, uh, upsetting Rutgers on the road. It didn't happen, and 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 in fact, they got blown out. Yeah, thirty five to. 16, I mean, yeah, both the Virginias, you know, Virginia, Virginia Tech, I mean, are just dead, dead programs. But, I mean, but, I'm, but, I mean, Rutgers, you, you, you know, might be decent this year. I mean, I think they have a good chance of um, making a bowl, so, and, I mean, I don't think that they've ever had a winning record since, since they joined the Big Ten. I think they've been to like one bowl game, but I mean they didn't even qualify. They were like five and seven, but they, uh, but they were a uh, a a, a, a makeup opponent, you know, for someone uh, who had you know COVID. So, but anyway. Yeah, yeah. Now we got to talk about uh, Tennessee and Florida, and, um, and 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 I mean, yes, Tennessee lost to Florida in the swamp again. Yet yeah, Tennessee has not won in Gainesville since two thousand and three. So that was twenty years ago. I think that that um that that um. Sw swamp voodoo uh, might be real uh, f for the Vols. But anyway, uh, anyway, and then, and then, and, and then, I mean, y'all just have, you know, have always, you know, y you know, had a hard time be beating Florida in general. Uh, since since then, sort of, sort of they remember when Florida won like oh, eleven straight, right? They right they've won what like like that's now like you know eighteen like um seventeen of the last nineteen or something like that that you've um that you that you've um lost to Florida. So I mean I mean yeah you just struggle with them in general for for whatever reason they they just have your number i mean you know i mean you know south carolina kentucky you know mizzou you know e even vandy you know have all won uh in in the swamp uh since the last time you played there so that's <laughs> yeah y'all just have um S swamp ass that's right and then um so yeah 29 to 16 uh yeah and um and and them in florida you, you know i've got to give them some credit you know for beating tennessee i mean I know that they're uh they're ranked now so yeah i mean yeah i mean you got to give them credit for you, you know beating you know what you thought was the number 11 team i think florida um deserves to be ranked just like last year they deserve to be ranked uh a a after beating utah so but anyway and i mean so florida better than we thought you, you know i had them going five and seven but but now i think they're gonna that they're gonna blow past that you know you know they could win and you know think they could win seven or eight games now but I mean, taking a look at their schedule, they could be, you know, you know, six and zero when they play 
yeah, you could be 6-0 and when you play Georgia. And as for, you know, Tennessee, you know, sort of struggled, you know. You know, um, I'm, I'm, I mean, I know they destroyed Virginia, but they did that mostly on the ground. And, um, of course, they really struggled against Austin P. I mean, I, I mean, I mean, 30 points. I, I, I mean, it turns out that that was a bad sign. And, I mean, you got exposed uh, by Florida. So, it looks like, um, like um, Joe Milton is not the answer. Maybe time to uh, uh, to bench Joe Milton and start uh, Nico uh, Ia, Ia, Ia Maliava. So, um, uh, but anyway, yeah, and then, yeah, and then about that, um, that, um, that, um, that time out, uh, with, um, uh, with, um, with nine seconds left. Yes, I think that was, that, that was low down, uh, by Josh Heupel. I mean, you know, what are you going to do with, uh, with nine? So, so okay, you thought they're going to punt. Okay. So if they punt, uh, I mean, I'm, 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 I mean, when, when you do get the ball, I mean, you're going to have to have three seconds. I, I mean, you're going to have only time for one play. And I mean, and I mean, you're down two touchdowns. So, I mean, there, there was really no point in that. I mean, that was just, you know, low by, um, by Hypo. And then, you know, you, you could, you could just let the game end. Instead, you, you, you've got to make, you know, Graham Mertz, you know, you know, run around for he and takes a knee, and then and, and 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 then you hit him late, and that starts a fight. So I mean, that whole you know um, situation could have been you know avoided. Anyway, and the end of BYU. Yeah, how do you lose uh, to the Bicycle College? Yeah, thirty eight thirty one. Yeah, yeah, you lost to the uh, the Mormons. I mean. Arkansas has just been really disappointing this year. And it, anyway, let's see. Uh, um, Syracuse beat Pitt. Let's see. I mean, excuse me. Syracuse beat Purdue, thirty-five to twenty. And um, and um, yeah, it did not end up being a blowout like I said it would. You you know, you know not quite a blowout. It was. It, it was close for most of the game. So. But um, but um, Syracuse did score another touchdown um, late, which would which, which, which put them up fifteen. But um, anyway, so now yeah, yes, Ole Miss beats Georgia Tech uh, forty-eight to twenty-three. Now this was a uh, popular upset, you, you know, pick or you know, a lot of people were at least picking you know Tech to cover. And, uh, and, and, um, it didn't happen. And, um, yeah, it was 10 to 3 at halftime. So, um, congratulations, uh, on your, uh, uh, on your, uh, uh, your moral victory. Yeah, I know that, uh, that, um, the Sea Dog was saying, uh, that y'all didn't get blown out. Yes, y'all did. Y'all did get blown out. Y'all lost by... Y'all lost by 25 points. All right. So, anyway. Yeah, now, uh, Pitt and West Virginia. Yes, West Virginia did beat Pitt 17-6. to Now, um, now Pitt and, um, and West Virginia both had the same number of total yards. Yeah, 211. Yeah, that's very rare. That, uh, that, uh, that two team that, that, um, that um that um that two teams will have the same number of total yards in in the same game. I mean I mean yeah that's wild. And I mean uh Phil uh Jerkovic is is a trash can. I mean yes, he threw yes three interceptions. He was like eight for twenty uh for like sixty yards. Three interceptions. 
Uh, that's absolutely terrible. Yeah, I don't, yeah, 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 I don't know that I've ever, you know, seen you, 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 a, a quarterback uh, play, play that bad. I mean, yeah, y'all need to uh, to bench him and then put in that 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 transfer from Penn State. Anyway, so so was this uh, this um, good defense or just bad offense? Yes, I think it was just um, um, bad offense. But you know, but you know, I'm glad that you know West Virginia was able to um, get this win for uh, Golden Blue Dude. Yeah, I know that he was uh, was uh, was looking down and uh, and um, and smiling. So, and then uh, my mom. And then uh, we've got um, yeah, I know that uh, that um, that uh, that that uh, Mrs. Pete was up there. Uh, for the game, so yeah, so congratulations to uh, Mrs. Pete and uh, her friend, so, uh, um, that she was up there with, so. But, and yeah, yeah, just want to uh, point out, yeah, that it's, um, yeah, just a, uh, uh, yeah, yeah, you know, that Pete wants me to, you know, to uh, let y'all know that, you know, it was um, just a friend, so. But anyway, uh, have some other games. Let's see. Uh, who else can we laugh at? Yeah, about uh, Oklahoma State. Yeah, you lost 33 to 7. Yeah, you got blown out by South Alabama. Man, what, what has happened to, um, to um, Oklahoma State? You know, wasn't it just, you know, not last year, but the year before? Y'all were in the, uh, uh, the Big 12 championship and just one win away from, you know, being in the playoffs. And then last year you started out with like six and zero, oh, and then you ended up finishing five and seven. I mean, I mean, you know, um, Oklahoma State under, uh, under, uh, you know, um, Mike Gundy. I mean, they've always been, you know, been, you know, a good program, you know, you, you know, good, but, you know, but never great, but never terrible either, but, I mean, I think that uh, that th that this might be the end for uh, for um, Gundy. And now, um, let's see what else? Oh yeah, let's see. Yeah, yeah. Arizona State getting shut out by by um, Fresno State, twenty nine to nothing. Yeah, Arizona is the worst team in the Power Five. Yeah, they're even worse than Boston College, worse than Northwestern, worse than Virginia. Let's see. Anything else happened yeah, about uh, my mom? Yeah, Texas. Uh, yeah, you um, slept walked through the uh, uh, the first three quarters. It was ten to ten at the end of the third quarter, and then y'all y'all did finally wake up in the uh, fourth quarter against Wyoming. Let's see. Anything else? Yeah, why? Yeah, you, you, you did have a letdown after beating Texas. Then why can't you be you know more like Oregon? I mean, I mean they destroyed uh, Hawaii, fifty-five to ten. And then how about um, A Alabama? Yeah, you um, yeah, yeah you struggle struggle with South Florida, seventeen points. I mean it was it was th it was three to three at halftime. And it took y'all until uh, un until late in the third quarter to finally score a touchdown. I mean, I I mean Alabama is just you know a uh, a a uh, a mess. You, you you know we are witnessing uh, the end of the uh, of the um, uh, uh, of the uh, Saban dynasty. I don't know how y'all recruit this good, but y'all. You know, can't can't find a quarterback. I mean, I mean, let's see, Buckner and uh, and Simpson, you know, were terrible. So I guess, so I guess, so um, yeah, y'all will be going uh, back to um, Jalen Mildew um, uh, um, next week. 
Yeah, again, yeah, for um, Ole Miss. But yeah, I mean, Nick Saban just looked like a uh, a uh, a defeat a defeated man. And I mean, you you know, maybe he he may end up you know, retiring after this year. I mean, who knows? But but uh, but uh, but I mean. Yeah, this is bad. Let's see anything else. So yeah, let's see how about uh about uh Mama Washington, yeah, brutally assaulted uh M Michigan State forty one to seven. See Michael Penix threw for almost five hundred yards, four touchdowns. So I mean Michigan State, you know, didn't even have a coach, so and then and, and then let's see any Anything else? Uh, let's see. Um, yeah, 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 not really much. Let's see. Uh, yeah, Clemson uh, destroyed for Atlantic. Okay. And again, yeah, and TCU uh, blew out uh, um, Houston. Uh, yes, TCU bouncing back after, you know, losing to Colorado. So. Oh, yeah, about uh, Cincinnati. Yeah, you lost to Miami of Ohio at, 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 after you just beat Pitt. Wow. You just beat Pitt, turn around and lose to Miami of Ohio. Let's see. Any, uh, let's see. Any, any, anything else? Yeah, how about Iowa? Yeah, scoring 41 points. Yeah, 41 to 10. Yeah, look at uh at Iowa finding some offense covering against against Western Michigan. Uh, let's see, Ohio State seems to have finally uh you know gotten into a groove uh on offense. They finally found themselves yeah just 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 annihilated Western Kentucky six sixty three to ten. And now, uh, let's just talk about, um, my mom. You get, you get to see Oklahoma, yeah, getting back on track after struggling with Tulsa. They hung six, I mean, I mean, with the SMU, they hung 66 on, on Tulsa. Yes, their offense, yeah, getting back on track. And then let's see, let's see anything else. Uh, you know about uh, yeah, Michigan. Yeah, still, yeah, still at number two. I mean, Michigan is so is so overrated. I mean, I mean, it's not just that they that they haven't played anyone. They played like uh, East Carolina, UNLV, Bowling Green. I, I, I mean, it's not about them having the easiest uh, opening stretch in the country. I mean, it's that they they just really have not looked good. I mean, I mean, yes, yes, you have the okay, the best, the best defense um, in the country. Okay, but you haven't uh, you haven't um, played anyone. I mean, uh, and I mean, we play these games, you know. I'm, I mean, I expect you to, you know, to be you know, to be you know winning these games by forty plus, and you're just not doing it. You know, it's the same. It's the same. You know. Criticism that I've had of um, of um, Ohio uh, of Ohio State uh, until uh, this week. So you're beating this team by like 25, you know, 27, 28 points. And I mean, and I mean, in this game, you know, I mean, 31 to six. Cade McNamara, three interceptions. Wow, that that's bad. Yeah, so I mean, it looks like uh, like uh, like uh, the plan is just have uh, Blake Corum, you know, carrying this team. I mean, I guess I I I I, I guess that's your plan. But yeah, I I mean, Michigan really does 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 not look good. You know, does 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 not belong in the top five, uh, in my opinion. So. Uh, but anyway, so I guess I'm gonna let that um um let that be it. So anyway, so um, thanks for watching, and um, I'll see y'all again next time.